Good afternoon everyone, it's David Schlothauer here and I'm proud to present you all my first preliminary fall 2023 forecast. Yesterday I made a winter forecast so if you all want to check that out first before looking at the fall forecast, you can go ahead and click on the card above this video. But anyways, before we get started, if you're new to the channel and you really like these detailed weather updates, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. And never forget to also leave a comment in this section below too, so that way I know how you all liked this video. So without further ado, let's get started here and look at our preliminary fall 2023 forecast. So we're going to first look at our 500 millibar height forecast. This is basically where the jet stream usually is positioned uh, in the atmosphere. And we can get an idea what we could expect based on where the jet stream is. So for the month of September through November, that's our fall months, by the way. It is right here on the screen. You can't miss that at all. And we can basically get an idea that we're going to have more ridging potentially over the northeastern Pacific with more um, zonal flow over the west coast of the U.S., including for much of the U.S. on the CFS model. But if we look at the CANSIPs, it also indicates maybe some ridging that could be in place for the northeast Pacific with some undercutting of trophy-like weather over the central portion there of California and much of the U.S. While the jet stream looks to be a bit weaker on the CANSIPS model than on the CFS model because the CFS model is a bit strong biased uh, early on but is weak biased during the winter time. So looking at our air temperature forecast, Definitely a warm one, all right, for much of the U.S., including for the Pacific Northwest and especially for the Deep South and for the Great Lakes region. Likely to see above average temperatures, according to the CANSIPS model, for September through November. More likely early on, you're going to see the warmest temperatures, but it wouldn't surprise me if you have a really warm fall this year with that Indian summer feel outside. On the CFS model, however, you're looking at, I mean, the whole entire United States here is looking at above average temperatures, while Canada does not look to have as far above normal temperatures. Now, I do apologize if Maine is cut off from the map. Um, that's just the way the sector works. But I can tell you right now, Maine is likely to have above average temperatures on both the CANSIPS and the CFS model uh, for the fall months. Now, going and looking at our precipitation forecast uh, for September through November, again, this is the fall outlook, definitely below average uh, anomalies for the Pacific Northwest, including for California, the further north you go, it gets drier. That is also true on the CANSEPS model with above average precipitation for Maine, also for New Hampshire, Vermont, including for much of the Northeast here with anywhere between maybe a quarter of an inch to maybe two inches above normal for the months of September through November. That's the three month average mean that we're looking at. However, it is looking a little drier, not as far above average for the CANSIPS model across much of the northern tier of the U.S. While it is below average here for Florida, for Georgia, and for the Carolinas, while it is also below average here for the Gulf of Mexico uh, for September all the way through November. Okay, so here's a look at my handcrafted fall 2023 temperature anomaly forecast. This is not made from the Climate Prediction Center whatsoever. So I want you all to just be aware of that, that this is all made up by me. So I hope I did a pretty good job at making this very detailed, uh, very well accurate, because again, I look into doing a lot more of these in years to come. So my outlook does indicate that much of the Deep South and the Southeastern US will likely have above average or leaning above average, not Super significant, but especially early on, like September and October, could be some really warm months for the Deep South and the Southeast, while the Northern Tier is likely to see either above or below average, like a 33-33-33% chance there. And then for the Western U.S., you're likely to see uh, leaning above average, a 40-50% to 50 chance of that occurring 
through November. But again, early on, like especially September and October, seem to be the warmer parts of the fall uh, months. Okay. So let's take a look now at our precipitation forecast. This is for, again, for September through November of my outlook. And I'm calling for leaning below average chances for precipitation for Oregon, Washington, also for Idaho and Montana, leaning below average chances for rainfall or any snowfall that may fall in the higher elevations there for, uh, say, New Mexico, western Texas, and southeastern portion there of Arizona. You're leaning above average chances for precipitation if you are in the southeastern U.S. So that's what I indicate, and that's because we have a very warm gulf. We have a really warm to hot gulf stream going on, so a lot of moisture is going to be picked up by these weather systems, and I'm probably going to start seeing more rainy periods coming up probably especially by late September or even in mid-September, you might start getting more of these storm systems. Maybe even from a hurricane could lead to above average chances. And then equal chances for much of the Midwest, the Northern Plains, the extreme Northeast, and the Western uh, or the West Coast there of California, including for Nevada. Now my fall 2023 overall impact forecast is pretty much... Uh, like my winter forecast, only that we don't have any snow colors in there. Uh, we're looking at warm and dry conditions across much of the Rockies and the Northwest. Now, again, if you're in the higher elevations, these warm and dry conditions or the warm portion of the forecast may not apply to you very much. But for the valleys, for the lower elevations, it's probably going to be a warm one. Hot and dry conditions across uh, or, uh, for portions of Southern Oregon, California, Nevada, if you're in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, you're going to be seeing some hot months ahead, especially for early to mid-September. It's going to be very hot, maybe. Then probably by more like October, it should start cooling down. But for some locations, it could be hot all the way through perhaps late October or even early November. Warm, hot, and humid conditions across the deep south for Florida, for the eastern seaboard. Yes, it's also going to be kind of wet at times, especially for the Carolinas and Georgia and Florida. Likely to start seeing some rainy periods um, in the middle of fall. And then severe weather chances. Now, even so, I do not explicitly have this further north. Um, this is an overlay kind of modeling that I have. And so the severe weather actually might extend pretty far up here to the north, especially for central and southern Iowa into central and southern um, Illinois, southern Indiana, much of Missouri or all of Missouri, and most of Kansas could have some severe weather periods, maybe even a severe weather outbreak here and there. Could see tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail potential within this area. So I want to make that clear. All of this here is is in red. So I'm just going to kind of fill that in for you all. So that way um, you, you all are not confused with what I just said there. So again, uh, severe weather periods are anticipated across this portion of the U.S. Okay, severe weather. Uh, wet and humid for the northeast, mild for the central and northern U.S., uh, and that's really uh, all that I have there for the overall outlook. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed my fall forecast. If you did, please consider subscribing. It really means a lot to me. Yeah, this was a really short video, to say the least. Um, and that's typical for these outlooks. Not much detail to cover, right? I did what I could, but if you did, like the video, share, like, and subscribe, and also leave a comment in the section below this video, and ring that bell icon for latest notifications on this channel, because I do upload every day, or at least I try to upload every day on the tropics, and yes, I got the U.S. forecasts coming for you all for the fall winter and spring months uh, we're on the tropics right now so that's why i'm not really covering the u.s very much i might have to do a u.s forecast this afternoon because that excessive heat for the deep south but anyways thank you all for watching be back with you this afternoon with a u.s forecast